Because I'm such a nice guy, I'm going to show you guys the easy way to calculate what shim you need to use for each spot. I'm only going to do the left exhaust and left intake because it's basically the same thing. And yeah. So, as you can see, I have a big mess on this sheet. So, I transferred two of them, the left intake and exhaust, onto a nice clean sheet. So, you guys can follow along pretty easily. My current clearance is 0.127 millimeters, and the shim that I have in there is a 265. Uh, the way shims are numbered is in hundredths of a millimeter, so a 265 shim is 2.65 millimeter. The way to visualize this is you got your clearance here, and then you have your shim right here. So, you got clearance of 0.127 and a 2.65 shim. And I want a 2.0 or a 0.25 clearance on there. And if you do the math, what you need to do is add 0.127 and 2.65 and subtract new clearance. And when you do that, it comes out to 2.527. And because shims aren't ideal, usually, uh, they don't come in 253 size. So instead of going down to 250, that would be out of spec. Don't do that. So round up to a 255. They come in increments of five hundredths of a millimeter. So that they have 240, 245, 250, 255, 260, so on and so forth. So simple as that. Same thing for the next one. Got your clearance of 0 0.076 and the current shim of 2.6. That, well, make your other clearance. It's going to be bigger. I guess this is a better representation. When you want a bigger clearance, you got to go with a smaller shim. Um, and the clearance I want is 0.2. And so when you add up 2.6 and 0 0.076 and then subtract 2, you get 2.476. And again, because they don't make a 247 shim, 248 actually, I guess would be better, uh, I got to round up again to 250 shim. And don't again, don't use a 245 because that would be too loose and outside spec, so that's out, and they don't make that, that I know of. So, 250 and 255. Wow. It's sort of weird writing when you're looking at a screen. That's why that's off. So anyway, that's how to calculate what shim you need.